defensive team of the Serie A this season, which are not getting all the credit they deserve, it's definitely going to be Bologna, managed by Thiago Motta. Today, we're going to go over his 4-1-4-1 tactics, which absolutely cook in FM as well. If you do enjoy the tactics of this channel, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and also turn on the notification bell. We are pushing for 20k. Let's try and make it happen. Let's get into it. Firstly, we are going to do the results. Bologna, a team predicted to finish 11th place inside of this game, and we have come up and actually finished in 4th place. So, getting Champions League football in one season, again, obviously with zero signings, which is really, really really impressive stuff. In terms of the Italian Cup, not a bad display either, getting knocked out in the semi-finals to get there alone is a big achievement. Unfortunately, Atalanta were a little bit too much for us to deal with on the day. But this main focus obviously is going to be getting the top four. And with a team like Bologna, this is where they are in real life at the moment, I would still share the same opinion if they do this in real life. It's an absolute miracle. A very good position that he's got them in Thiago Motta. And the fact we managed to do this over an entire season is really, really impressive. And going into the Serie A, as you can see, we're not going to be the most dominant in terms of the player stats, etc., etc. However, we are going to have the first and the second most assists when it comes down to individual players. So that is really good to see, which is, you know, a big bonus to have. Going over to the team stats as well, we are going to notice ourselves appear in three. Not too bad. Most shots for at 525, the fewest shots against at 246, and also the most dribbles being made at 758. Possession wise, we're not going to feature in there too much against, you know, the likes of these absolute giants. But as a general rule, so far, so happy. What does the data hub look though? like let's look though like look like though let's go have a little look we are going to see in a date hub it is going to be still way under a goal again which is really really impressive especially with a team like Bologna though I will say not the most out there goals per game 1.84 definitely had a lot more than that on this channel but if you want to play like Thiago Motta and replicate his system identically this is the sort of results you're going to get with this Bologna team sorry when we go and test with the big the big boys you know the PSGs etc etc if they are in the video then we are going to get more goals but with a team like this these are the stats you can expect to see a good pass completion, a good tackle win ratio, but obviously not four plus goals a game. That would be a little bit unrealistic. This is going to be one of the highest scoring goals of the game for us this season or goals in the season. It's going to be free to win over Genoa. As you can see, got off to a very good start there. Ferguson down the right hand side. He's going to take a touch, absolutely beat everyone. Ball inside, in tomorrow, into the bottom right corner. Now I will say, although this is only a 3-0 win, this is going to be one of the highest amount of goals we are going to be scoring in the season. So I will stress this enough. This is not going to be a very high scoring tactic for those of you that are playing with a team like Bologna. You need to sign players to fit this system. Obviously, another team linked to Motta in many, many ways. It is going to be Spezia, a very strong team over in the Serie B. And in one season, we've taken them back up to the Golden Land. The Serie A, that is going to be obviously winning 26 games, drawing four and losing eight games right there. Again, in the Italian Cup, I was not expecting too much, honestly, because obviously we're not going to win it when you've got the of Inter Milan in there, which are a little bit too much for us, definitely. <laughs> going over to the Italian Serie B, we are going to pull it back to the league table, and you can also hear Luca Moro comes in with 25 goals, and also finishes third highest in the average rating, while it is going to be a third place coming in for the most assists in the league. But if you just feast your eyes on this as well, we're going to rank the best in the player of the matches, but also the most clean sheets. So this tells me we were actually quite good defensively as well. The keeper kept a load of clean sheets, which obviously can be him, but obviously you also need a very good defence to keep those clean sheets. So we are going to feature and a lot more on this occasion. Most points per game at 2.16. Most shots at over 500, which is really, really impressive. The fewer shots against at 275. Possession-wise, we are going to be there in the top four with 53% of the ball. Most dribbles being made at 550. And yeah, as predicted defensively, we were absolutely incredible. Now going over to the data hub, we are going to look at it. It's going to be very, very impressive. Very, I think that's actually the same. 1.84 goals per game, 0.84 conceded. So we are going to be scoring one more goals that we are going to be conceding, which is why you do win around about 70, 80% of the games and you might get the odd draw here and there. A very good pass completion, a very good amount of shots per game and attack a win ratio, very impressive. A little comfortable free to win here in a home game in the Serie B as we are going to put a ball directly into the box and it's a little bit scrappy. Obviously, it is going to be Risa there to pick up a very scrappy but deserved goal, I would argue, by the stats. A great pen there into the top left-hand corner as well. And one more goal does come in towards the end of the game, 65th minute. They sort of offered nothing the entire game, to be honest. The ball directly into the box. The direct approach sometimes works. Well, for everyone asking, what happens when you test this with an absolute powerhouse? Well, today, I've sort of one-upped us because we're actually going to play the Champions League final. And do let me know in the comments if you like this concept. So I will make it a permanent thing if you like it. But in terms of the league so far, we are absolutely absolutely taken over. 33 wins, zero draws and one loss. We win the French Cup and the Trophy de Champion. If we go into the French League, we are actually going to go and look right now. It is going to be killing Mbappe with 40 goals, Colo Mali with 39. These two up front are absolutely
absolutely ridiculous. And Mbappe with an 8.25, an 8.02 for Colo Mani, and a 7.95 for Usman Dembele. And Mbappe obviously also doing the assists alongside of Dembele and Hakimi. Player of the matches, clean sheets, the whole lot. We are absolutely all over it. And going over to this, we are going to feature, obviously, in a fair few stats. The most points per game at nearly three. The most goals, the fewest shots against, the most shots for. Possession-wise, 52% of the ball. So I will stress this. This is not a possession-based tactic. When you actually see this 4-1-4-1, you are going to understand why it is not designed for possession. The fewest conceders and also the most clean sheets. And that tells me this data hub is going to look a little bit more buffed up. Yeah, 4.26 goals per game, 0.5 conceded, 23.41 shots per game, an 86% pass completion, and an 80% tackle win ratio. So if you are playing as a powerhouse, it's going to be four plus goals a game. If you're playing as like a top four team, like a Liverpool, for example, probably around the 3.5 and the other teams, you've seen what happened. So let's go and play this final and see what's good. So let's get into this Champions League final then, guys. It is going to be against Barcelona. You can see the teams I've got on the screen right now, two very, very good powerhouse teams going against each other. Very interesting to see how this formation is going to cope, obviously, in such a big tie against such a tough team. That is going to be a very key point. Key highlights is going to be selected, and we are going to play on quite a quick highlight speed to get through the game. Obviously, you can see here, if this was me playing right now, I personally would go with the um, focus down the left and the right, because you'd easily be able to exploit this team. But let's see how we fare against this Barcelona team. So far, it's been quite quiet. Obviously, only seven minutes played. A great bit of play from Hakimi there into Dembele, who's going to just take on everyone by the looks of it. He's going to cut it back, and it's actually going to be a goal. Now, he might be offside because there was a mixture of like two or three players there. If it is going to be a goal, I might be a little bit shocked because there's a lot of people getting involved. We'll see what happens. Is it going to be awarded? It's going to be awarded. So we are going to be 1-0 up inside of eight minutes. Now, you're going to see also maybe how I sort of, you know, plan how I change things. Just, I think it's a good idea to showcase a game now and then. But obviously, at the moment, I'm not going to change anything because we are absolutely cooking them. You can see here as well, I am not phased at all personally about less possession. It does not worry me in this system at all because I know exactly how good we are when we win the ball back. And as you can see, Barcelona, they are going to string some good passes together here by the looks of it. Pedri, to be fair, it's actually a bit of quite, quite of a worry now. Okay, there you go. Balde does lose go back to into Donnarumma, who has got a mistake in him, but that is just so composed. Can ben Be yeah, this is a real good, real good one to show you, because we are playing some really good football. Look at that. This could be one of the best goals on the channel, actually, if this goes in. Soler, okay, I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Pedri, what's he going to do with it? Down the line into Lewandowski. We should be able to outpace him here. Yeah, he's got nothing. Nothing on Hakimi in terms of pace. And Hakimi can drive into the midfield, obviously, in that inverted role. Into Mbappe, out on the left-hand side. He's going to take on everyone by the looks of it. Ball across into Dembele. And I don't know where the keeper's going, but we are 2-0 up in the Champions League final. And against this strong Barcelona team, I don't know what's going on because the first goal was a quite a good quality goal. That one there was an absolute disaster. And as it stands, I'm not having to make any tactical tweaks. So we're going to sit here. We're going to see what happens. This formation Barcelona are running does work really, really well. But if you're playing against someone, like if you're playing against a friend or whatever, focus played... Cut me off mid-sentence. I cannot believe what I've just seen. Who is that in goal? That is to Stegen. That is one of the best free kicks I've seen this year. Absolute world free kick. A well-beaten free kick. 3-0 up now in this Champions League final. Don't even know what I was saying before. I'm going to keep that in the video because it is quite funny. Let's get into the second half. When your team scores three goals and doesn't concede, it doesn't really make too much sense to make any subs. So I'm going to keep the same players on because they are literally making me so proud. And this tactic is being displayed to the best level it can. As Mbappe is going to cut inside into Hakimi, obviously a very inverted option. And OK, I thought maybe a little, little penalty could have happened there if he would have went over. But this cup final has been something special so far. And I feel like Barcelona is one of them teams which I don't usually like to play as well. They usually do quite well against me. But this system is so unique. The way which players get into different positions, they clearly can't hack it. It's a very interesting way of playing football. Hakimi, obviously, almost playing like a centre mid here in some aspects. As it is going to be Hernandez with loads of options again. If he hits a die, I can get that all the way through. What's he going to do? He's going to wait, play it inside into Fabian, into a... Again, that sort of passing, you physically cannot stop. Now, if this free kick goes in, something's going on. No, obviously not. That may be a bit too much to ask. Soler, obviously, the man who scored the previous one. Into Hernandez. He's going to cut it back 
It's Hakimi than a striker. He is not really anything to worry about for Barcelona, apart from the fact they are 3 0 down. But looking at this Barcelona team, man, I mean, it probably is one of the better formations to play with them because obviously you can get the most out of using Pedri and Gavi, um, who I believe has actually just come off now. I've spoke about him. De Jong and Gundogan deep. Obviously, you've got Torres and Lewandowski up front. Then you look at our system and it looks very, very unique. But obviously, the 4 1 4 1 shape comes from the 4, the 1. This centre mid does push up into obviously form the 4 block. So it is going to be a 4 1 4 1. And so it is going to be Pedro. I thought he actually come off the pitch. Um, Dembele obviously is going to win that back from a great challenge from Yagate, who's going to go down the right hand side, take on everyone back into Hakimi. And to Stegen, it's a decent effort, but he can't keep it out of his net. And we are 4 0 up in this Champions League final. Something I did not think I would be saying. For anyone saying, Josh, do your tactics work in game? Nothing speaks more than this, I guess. I guess this is the result because we are absolutely cooking up a storm here. I'm going to make no subs. I've done no. Sh I've done nothing. The team has literally done everything for me. Um, they're trying something different, bringing on Romeo again. Probably not the player you want to turn to when you're so many goals down. And I think, lads, unless one of the worst flops happens, we are. They're going to be Champions League winners. But now, of course, over to your favourite part of the video. That is going to be the tactic breakdown. If you are enjoying so far, be sure to leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications. And a thank you to over the 2,500 people that are in the Patreon. You get access to all three of the tactics. You get early video and early access release to the tactic. You get priority in the tactic and the rebuild requests. You get the rebuild files. You get access to the monthly giveaways and so much more. Definitely go and check it out. The link is going to be in the description on the screen. And also, it's going to be a little card somewhere in this video. But let's talk about the player roles. Then. So it is going to be the goal keeper who is going to be a sweeper keeper simply on the default instruction the inverted wing back who played such a big part in that final is going to be a support also on tackle harder the left back is going to be a fullback on attack on take more risks sit narrower and also tackle harder ball playing defender on the left on tackle harder and match him on the right is also going to be tackle harder but we are going to have dribble more on that side going up to the midfield it is going to be a dm the only role you can really use in this team that is going to be on support on take more risks and also tackle harder next to him is going to be a central midfield player on automatic on dribble more run wide get further forwards stay wider and also tackle harder now what happens with this role is basically he's going to push up into this area here which obviously does form the 4141 or what will happen is this player will be on the ball he will cut in so imagine this player pauses here and then this player will run out wide so you're always going to have that 4141 when you're attacking and it works really really well on the left hand side is going to be the inverted winger on attack on stay wider and tackle harder and on the right is going to be another winger, but this one simply on support on also tackle harder. In the midfield, we are going to introduce an advanced playmaker on support on dribble more, tackle harder, and also mark tighter. And to finish off the player rules for the default version, it is going to be the pressing forward on attack on shoot more often and roam from position. Team instructions all based off a clean slate positive. That is a clean slate positive. We are going to go to fairly wide for the attack and whip. We're going to overlap left. Obviously, that side is really focused on that element. We're going to play out from the back. Direct Nassau is an interesting one, but I've personally gone for shorter with a slightly higher tempo. We're going to run at defense. We saw a lot of counter attacks in that highlight alone a very good way of playing we're going to work the ball into the box and we're also going to opt for low crosses transition is going to be very simple counter press counter play to the center backs all while taking short goal kicks. Total possession, it is going to be the higher defensive line, which I accidentally have gone wrong three times there. But also going to roll with the high press and line of engagement much more often when it comes to the trigger press. We're going to prevent short goal kick distribution and we are also going to get stuck in. Now, you might need this. In fact, you are going to need this. It is going to be an attacking variant for when you can't quite get the goals you need with that default one. And the goalkeeper is going to be a sweeper keeper who remains the same. The inverted wing back on the right is still going to be on support, on tackle harder. The fullback on the left is going to remain the same as well. And both of the centre backs remain exactly untouched the dm also does remain unchanged the central midfield player now goes on to attack sorry on dribble more run wide stay wider and also tackle harder we've basically just made him a little bit more reserved and told him to look get the ball and fly getting very very attacking the inverted winger on the left is the same role with a few more instructions take more risks shoot more often stay wider and also tackle harder and on the right hand side it's now going to be a winger on attack on cross aim center roam and also tackle harder one of the biggest changes to this system is the introduction introduction the introductory of the shadow striker on attack on cross more often roam from position tackle harder and also mark tighter and the pressing forward 
is going to remain unchanged because he already sort of does his job in this system. Team instructions, again, the same tactical style on the attacking this time, the attacking mentality. It's going to be fairly wide, overlap left, playing out from the back, shorter, but this time the higher tempo. We're going to be more expressive, obviously, last time we weren't. We're still going to run up the back line. We're going to work the ball into the box while doing the low crosses. In transition, it's going to be very similar, but counter press, counter, distribute quickly, play to the centre backs and take short goal kicks. And out of position, we're going to instantly whack that line up too. The much higher defensive line, the high press and line of engagement, much more often on the trigger press, prevent short goal keeping distribution and obviously get stuck in is going to remain. You're also going to need this very unique looking system. This is going to be to defend those games out. And trust me, if you're playing as a small team as well, you definitely are going to want to get this because if I was in a big game of Bologna and I was a couple of goals up, this would be getting deployed. So the goalkeeper remains the same. The inverted wing back is now going to be on on defend on tackle harder the fullback on the left also is now going to be on defend on sit narrower and also tackle harder both of the ball playing defenders are going to remain exactly the same because they do they've done so well in the default variant and the attacking one i didn't feel like having them as they were would be too attacking for the defensive one the dm does go on to defend on take more risks still and also tackle harder the winger gets dropped all the way back to almost form the four in midfield on this occasion which you could argue would be more like a 4-4-2 and he is going to be on support on the default and on the left we've got to have another default a inverted winger on support on the default we didn't have a central midfield player again on automatic no it's not a misclick we've got no instructions just simply be in there and do your job nothing special up a little bit we're going to go for the advanced playmaker on support on dribble more tackle harder and also mark tighter and lastly it's going to be the pressing forward a little bit out on the left hand side now on shoot more often and roam from position now i do want to say if you do want to make this a little bit more attacking for whatever reason that is you could obviously change this guy to a shadow striker and it would almost form that 4-4-2 so that is definitely one way you can go Team instructions, again, the clean slate on the positive. The positive mentality is going to be fairly wide. Playing out from the back is going to be a necessity. A shorter passing directness. The tempo is going to go down quite a fair bit to standard. We're going to run at defence, work ball into the box. And you better, we're going to keep low crosses on because why on earth do we need to change it? In transition, it's going to be counter press and counter. So still, though, it is going to be a defensive tactic. There's still a little bit about it, you know, a little bit of fight. We're going to slow the pace down when we've got the ball. We're going to play to anyone across the back line while taking short goal kicks. Lastly, we're going to rock the standard line. We can't really really play the much higher line when the sort of shape is a bit like this we're gonna go with the high press line of engagement slightly more often and prevent short goalkeeper distribution and that's gonna give you guys not one not two but three variants of tiago motta's bologna team who is he's got the team absolutely cooking if you always have enjoyed be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel keep the comments coming on what tactics you want to see after the winter update and i'll see you in the next one